Bryn, and then the third by George. So at this time, we're going to hand the microphone over. Oh, no. 
Morgan's 21st birthday. <laughs> we fought over who wanted to get Morgan more drunk and then, who, <laughs> and then who would take care of her better. Overall, I think I won when Morgan when Morgan's uh, dinner came up on me. <laughs> but John, that was the night I knew you were perfect for it. So caring, fighting over her, fighting over my best friend. <laughs> so I know you're her best friend and you're gonna take care of her as well as I can take care of her. Um, hold on, let me figure out where I'm at. <laughs> I've accepted my place as the designated third wheel. <laughs> Let me tell you that. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. To Morgan and John, forever happiness. I love you guys dearly. You guys have golden hearts and you guys are so perfect for each other. Cheers to Morgan and John. I said, hey, everyone. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time. I didn't prepare anything. I'm just going to sort of tell you a little story. Um, I just want to start by saying that um, I love my big sister Morgan more than anyone in the entire world. Um, and um, if you look at our photo albums, our family photo albums, from the time that I was born, never see a picture of me without her three feet away from me at any time, <laughs> making sure that I'm not walking into streets or turning my eyes or anything like that. Um, but she always took good care of me and she always loved me. Um, <clears throat> there were a lot of times when I was very, very young um, that I had nightmares and um, the only thing that would make me feel better is Morgan would give me her blanket and um, uh, her stuffed animal, Mushi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I would be able to sleep with him for one night. Those nights were always so great. Um, and and um, um, I remember uh, maybe when I was about seven years old, uh, there was one day um, when Morgan got into a little bit of a fight with her friends in the neighborhood and everything like that. And she came home, and it was something about an American Girl doll. I don't remember this story. <laughs> But um, she was she was very very sad. <laughs> she was crying, and she she asked me if I could give her a hug. And I gave her a hug, and I just remember that I thought to myself that I could never hug her tight enough or love her enough. And um, uh, and I thought to myself maybe no one would ever be able to hug her enough or love her enough that she deserved. And. And then we met John, <laughs> and we got to know John. And um, I even asked John recently, I, I asked him first, and then, you know, maybe it's like an Italian older brother, or a younger brother, you know, I think it was an Italian brother thing. I asked her, you know, when did, or I asked John, when did you know that you wanted to marry my sister? And he said, oh, right away, right away. And that was a good answer, good answer. <laughs> and um, uh, <laughs> then, then I asked him, what's your favorite thing about Morgan? And he said, you know, <laughs> there's not just one specific thing. There's, she's just so special all around. She's so wonderful. She's so perfect. And it just makes me so happy that he's going to be there to hold her tight enough and to love her enough. And I'm just so happy that he's in our lives now and that Morgan and John are going to be happy from here on out. So everyone just raise their glasses for me. <laughs> <laughs> to Morgan and John. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to all three did a fantastic job.